uh, I think we can look at something that you wrote in your report, which is this. Um, it's always incendiary to compare the actions of Jewish people or institutions to those of Hitler or the Nazis. Mm. Um, now, in 2013, Jeremy Corbyn, it emerged over the summer, um, said that Palestinians in the West Bank live under occupation of the very sort that would be recognised by many people in Europe who suffered occupation during the Second World War. So, by your definition, that would be incendiary. Was that right? Well, incendiary, by the way, doesn't mean anti-Semitic. No, quite. Um, so, 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 let me put it like this. By the time I was um, looking at the nature of discourse within the party, um, by definition, we had a problem that, that, that needed to be addressed. And I was trying to set down some guidelines for, for people who want to... to you know, to make very important arguments, but not make them um, in a way that is going to just automatically get people's backs. And up. I understand that. So this I is don't. I don't. Your, this is before your report. Yeah, but no, would you say those comments were incendiary? I think that um, I, I stand by my advice to everybody, which is to make your human rights critiques. And and and, and Jeremy, like me, is a lifelong human rights defender, and he is quite right to draw people's attention to the plight of the Palestinians. Um, but um, I think that um, it is better, if possible, given the rise of the far right, given uh, the rise of anti-Semitism in Europe, it is better to make those human rights arguments without comparison to, um, to the Nazis. Mm -hmm.